Hey everybody, welcome back to Eggman, Tails and Knuckle Squad. Today I'm going to be playing Batman Telltale series. Oh, fucking hell, Jesus. Is dark. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on!
shit! Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I do this for the thrill of it. I'll show you a thrill. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Oh! Bring it back. Oh shit! 
That's not good. about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave, the struggle. I know men like you. Now she took my grappling hook. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Don't know why it shows digital. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. And for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. They're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I turn this city around as no Now, Jesus. Funding my campaign. Oh my god. Now all I need is a decent slogan. Terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, let's I put a dent in crime. 
All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... No, because we're Dent. voting for oh, Harvey Dent. Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children I'm actually going to go to Sarah. That's what Guess I want why? too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make Harvey it. Dent is two well, faced, correct? With a few hands. Hmm? Come on. When I said let's put a dent in crime, guess what he said? That's not half bad. Do you see what I mean now? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... And we don't want drama. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent. No, but I still don't want thing. drama. But I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, my name isn't important. What is important is Mr. Dent's campaign. Like it or not, the Wayne name carries weight in Gotham. I understand. I just don't want to throw it around. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall. That Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the one. Well, goddamn West. Oh, Bobby. Regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Well, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. <laughs> and don't worry, though. I'm wow. not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate that's never right. be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of bringing endorsements. next mayor and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Wow. Gross. Ooh. This is quite the social event. One la la. Come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. 
Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. Stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. Never stain. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Van. business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least to hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, we'll just make sure this one doesn't hate you. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcon. Thank you for welcoming me at your home. You're a respectable man. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Hmm. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever I, you... I, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry the city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. 
one who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. The money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. He's gonna get what's coming to him. So that was part one of um, Batman the Telltale series everyone. I hope you had a good day. I will uh, do more tomorrow. And please like and subscribe. And goodbye.